Insulin glulacine, also known as Apidra Solostar Insulin Pen, is used to control high blood sugar in people with diabetes. This helps prevent complications such as kidney damage, blindness, nerve problems, loss of limbs, and sexual function problems. Proper control of diabetes may also reduce the risk of heart attack or stroke. Apidra Solostar Insulin Pen is a man-made product that is similar to human insulin and replaces the insulin that your body would normally make. It starts working faster and lasts for a shorter time than regular insulin, helping blood sugar, glucose, get into cells so your body can use it for energy. This medication is usually used with a medium or long-acting insulin product. It is important to use Apidra Solostar Insulin Pen as directed by your healthcare provider. The dosage and timing may vary depending on your individual needs, so be sure to follow your healthcare provider's recommendations for the best results in managing your diabetes. Before you start using Apidra Solostar Insulin Pen, make sure to read the patient information leaflet if available from your pharmacist. If you have any questions, ask your doctor, diabetes educator, or pharmacist. Clean the injection site with rubbing alcohol before injecting each dose. Insulin glulacine should be clear and colorless, so if you see any particles or discoloration, do not use it. Also, be sure to change where you inject each time to prevent problems under the skin and inject it into the stomach area, thigh, or back of the upper arm. Avoid injecting into red, swollen, itchy, or damaged skin. Inject this medication under the skin as directed by your doctor, usually within 15 minutes before eating a meal or within 20 minutes after starting the meal. Do not inject into a vein or muscle because very low blood sugar may occur. If you are directed to inject this insulin with an infusion pump, read the instruction manual and directions that come with the infusion pump. Avoid exposing the pump or its tubing to direct sunlight or other heat sources. Do not dilute insulin if you are using an insulin pump. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Measure each dose very carefully because even small changes in the amount of insulin may have a large effect on your blood sugar. Use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. Use it at the same times each day to help you remember. Check your blood sugar regularly as directed by your doctor and share the results with your doctor. If your condition does not improve or worsens, inform your doctor. Some side effects may occur at the injection site, such as pain, redness, or irritation, as well as potential weight gain. If you experience any of these effects or if they worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist promptly. This medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. If you notice signs of low potassium levels in the blood, such as muscle cramps, weakness, or irregular heartbeat, it's important to contact your doctor immediately. Apidra Solostar Insulin Pen can cause low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, which may occur if you do not consume enough calories from food or engage in unusually heavy exercise. It's important to be aware of the symptoms of low blood sugar, such as sudden sweating, shaking, fast heartbeat, hunger, blurred vision, dizziness, or tingling hands slash feet. It's a good idea to carry glucose tablets or gel to treat low blood sugar. If you don't have these, you can rapidly raise your blood sugar by consuming a quick source of sugar, such as table sugar, honey, candy, fruit juice, or non-diet soda. Be sure to inform your doctor about any reactions and the use of this product. To help prevent low blood sugar, it's important to eat meals on a regular schedule and not skip meals. If you miss a meal, consult your doctor or pharmacist to find out what you should do. Increased thirst and urination may be symptoms of high blood sugar, hyperglycemia. If you experience these symptoms, it's important to contact your doctor immediately. Your doctor may need to adjust your diabetes medication, exercise program, or diet accordingly. While rare, a very serious allergic reaction to this drug is possible. If you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. This is not an exhaustive list of potential side effects. If you notice any other effects not mentioned here, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before using Apidra Solostar Insulin Pen, consult your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies or medical history of kidney disease, liver disease, or thyroid problems. 
Do not use this medication if you have low blood sugar. Be cautious of potential side effects such as blurred vision, dizziness, or drowsiness due to low or high blood sugar. Avoid alcohol while taking this medication as it can increase your risk of developing low blood sugar. It may be harder to control your blood sugar when your body is stressed, so consult your doctor if you experience fever, infection, injury, or surgery. Before surgery, inform your doctor about all the products you use. Check your blood sugar before and after exercise and consult your doctor if traveling across time zones. Older adults and children may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially low blood sugar. If you are pregnant, discuss a plan with your doctor for managing your blood sugar and potential changes in your diabetes treatment. This medication passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. Drug interactions can affect how your medications work and may increase your risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Don't make any changes to your medication without your doctor's approval. Certain medications like beta blockers and glaucoma eye drops may affect how you feel when your blood sugar falls too low. Other symptoms of low blood sugar, like dizziness, hunger, or sweating, are not affected by these drugs. Many medications can also impact your blood sugar levels, making it harder to control. Before making any changes to your medication, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about how it may affect your blood sugar. Make sure to regularly check your blood sugar levels as directed and inform your doctor of any symptoms of high or low blood sugar. Your doctor may need to adjust your diabetes medication, exercise program, or diet. If someone has taken too much Apatra Solo Star insulin, they may experience symptoms of low blood sugar such as sweating, shakiness, loss of consciousness, and a fast heartbeat. In serious cases, call 911 or a poison control center right away. U.S. residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canada residents can call a provincial poison control center. It's important to never share your Apatra Solo Star insulin pen, needles, or syringes with anyone else. Make sure to attend a diabetes education program to fully understand how to manage your diabetes with medications, diet, exercise, and regular medical exams. Learn the symptoms of high and low blood sugar and how to treat low blood sugar. It's important to check your blood sugar regularly as directed and share the results with your doctor. While taking this medication, you may need to have lab and or medical tests such as liver and kidney function tests, fasting blood glucose, hemoglobin A1c, and complete blood counts. Make sure to keep all medical and lab appointments. It's also a good idea to keep extra supplies of insulin, syringes, and needles on hand for any unexpected situations. Remember, it's crucial to stick to your insulin routine as prescribed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, make sure to consult with your doctor in advance about what steps to take. When it comes to storing Apatra Solo Star Insulin Pen, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. If it's unopened, it's best to keep it in the refrigerator. However, once it's been opened, it can be stored in the refrigerator or at room temperature. But remember, if it's been open for 28 days, it needs to be thrown away. The same goes for insulin in use, even if there's some left, it should be discarded after 28 days. If you're using this insulin in a pump, don't keep it in the pump for more than 48 hours, as this could lead to ineffective treatment and high blood sugar. And be sure to protect the insulin from direct sunlight and temperatures above 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Lastly, make sure to keep the insulin away from light and heat, and always store it in a safe place out of reach of children and pets. And when it comes time to dispose of the product, be sure to follow the proper guidelines for medication disposal. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.